I just need to set up my chat. Can okay. the chat? And welcome back to Victoria 3. Last time we were playing as the Great Ching, aka China. And our mission is to make China the number one great power in the world. And last time around, things didn't really go according to plan. As you can tell, there's a little bit of Russia here, and uh, we don't want any bits of Russia. But we did force recognition on uh, some sort of great power. I can't remember which one. It was probably Britain. Can I check my truces? Oh yeah, I got recognition on Great Britain. Which means I am now a recognized power. And we climbed up to the rank of Great Power. Next step is dethroning Great Britain. And the way you do it is by just wrecking their prestige. Wow, my standard of living is pretty garbage. Not gonna lie. How is the price of grain? It's actually relatively high. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Ooh, I already have fertilizers. Interesting. Anyway. What are our next steps? We could dismantle Great Britain become number the number one power by knocking them out of number one. We could dismantle Eastern Russia. It will not be a big deal because Russia is a very strong power. And like Eastern Russia isn't a big deal. But it could work. We could get on colonialism, but I'm not gonna. I think, most of all, I want the British Raj. Taking the British Raj will secure our borders, uh, except for Russia, I guess, but... We'll secure most of our borders, and then we only need to worry about Russia. I want to retake this treaty port, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't actually really matter. Let's take a, let's take a look at our country. We have 444 battalions. They are skirmish infantry with mobile artillery. I'm pretty sure I need to improve on that. Because if you look at Russia, well, Russia doesn't have anything better. But I'm pretty sure Britain does. Yeah, they got up to shrapnel artillery, and I would like to change that. In terms of laws, we have a liberal economy and free trade. I got landed voting and I'm trying to work on wealth voting, I suppose, without radicalizing the landowners. So we have culture exclusion, state religion, appointed bureaucrats. Um, the budget isn't doing too well. But as soon as the economy grows a little bit, I think it will get better. Minus 66k, minus 76k. Can I tell how much taxes I'm losing here? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm only getting like a quarter of the taxes I should. Yeah, that's the big problem of China. Taxation, it will re remain an issue throughout the entire game. But now as I build bureaucracy to deal with taxation issues, I'll also get enough bureaucracy to get some institutions going. I probably don't want welfare though. I'm gonna be moving towards uh, some sort of schooling system. 
But first, for sure, I want to try and pass wealth voting. How is the government, by the way? It's everybody. <laughs> Everybody's in government. Oh my god. In terms of diplomacy, Burma hates me. Russia is, views us as a mistaken enemy, but that's subject to change. Great Britain sees us as a threatening force. Portugal hates us because we, we retook Macau. That's right. We won the open wars and we have not seen the Heavenly Kingdom yet. The Boxer Rebellion comes at the end of the century, I'm pretty sure. I still shouldn't go into depth just in case, but it wouldn't be the worst thing. Oh, I'm actually at minus 40% progress. How did I... Because it seems to be an unrecognized power. Okay, I think this is kind of an oversight. I don't think this is supposed to be in the, into the negatives. Yeah. At some point, I'm gonna stamp out the monarchism. Get rid of our dear emperor. He's a bandit too. This is one of the worst uh, traits you can get on on your leader because it's minus 50% infamy decay. It's all around terrible. There's some low market access going on. When? Oh, that's already queued up. What am I building? A ton of bureaucracy. That's fine. Clear out some notifications. Um, that is inactive. This one's uh, unproductive. Let's export some more silk to the French and the Ottomans and the Austrians and the Spanish. We'll see how that goes. Let's get wealth voting going. What is a Q tie? It's these guys? No shot. Can I... I cannot puppet the Netherlands because they're a major power. If they drop down, I'll be able to puppet them and then I get the Dutch East Indies as well. They're very easy to puppet. You can say they don't have much in the terms of a military. You just make a landing and that's that. They're a subject of Prussia. Okay, they're just in the customs union. Okay. I could still make this play, right? Yeah, that's the only reason. 53 infamy is a lot. It's enough to make people change um, to be against me. How much infamy do I have? Zero. Okay, let's get conquering. An idea is to get Korea. Maybe take a bite of Japan, maybe expand into actual Southeast Asia. We're hostile towards Burma. I could just puppet them for 30 infamy. It's quite a bit. If Britain joins in, I can take out like a colony of theirs. Like actually release them. I probably wanna eat the infamy hit and just transfer the British Raj to myself. That's right, I forgot to check the market though. I do have guns to spare. Why are these inactive? No silk traded. I have no idea. In terms of technology, I'm going for ironclads. Of course, I'm going for ironclads, so I have the uh, naval superiority. Then we go for these for breech loading artillery. 
Strange works is all the way down there. I'm not sure if I'm going for it. I'm going for both of these, to say the least. Oh, I guess I'm going to want ironclads and then... Stop, get rid of this. Then the industrial port, because I'm going to want to replace all my... All of my... Um, clippers with ironclads. Then I can go for artillery, this is fine. Yeah, just don't pause the game. Insufficient construction for the investment pool. That's a new thing. And uh, yeah. It seems like they're reinvesting a lot of money. Another thing I want to go for is steel framed buildings. They're down here. I would need to research a lot of this. I do believe I would need to research at least these three. Wouldn't be the worst idea. The problem with the construction capacity is that I don't have the funds to do public construction. Even though I'm pretty much maxed out. In terms of taxation. I guess I could go a little bit higher, but it's... This part is kind of crazy. That will actually hurt my standard of living far too much. Speaking of standard of living, I did notice I'm out of grains. Which farm is the best? I think it's wheat farms because I'm I don't have enough wine in the market. Where do I want to build it? Wait, there's no unemployment in Beijing? Really? Okay, there's still a lot of unemployment in Qing in general, but... Unemployment has actually gone down. Oh, in that case, I'm gonna turn... bunch of these into farms I would need 10,000 to make a difference make a hundred farms here it's barely noticeable This might be just stupid. But it is also the best place to put down the farms. Considering I want taxation to come in. Um, yeah, we have very little tax waste in Beijing.
Oh right, I'm building tax tax collection here. The rivalry broken thing is still going on and I still don't know why. Wood is expensive. That's odd. Did I not fix it? Oh, I did. It, it just doesn't care. Uh, I'm actually out of wood. I could also get more meat. At the cost of needing more tools, which is... Oh no. Okay, I don't want to deal with Minus Literace. Uh, what is it called? Interest group pop attractions. So I'm just gonna. Now, excuse me. I'm just gonna do this. And the event's gone. I can't ask for census suffrage because that will actually radicalize the landowners. Anyway, I was supposed to be attacking somebody for land. I'm not really sure why I have Vietnam. Are they doing better? Technically they are. Who can I conquer for like 25? Infamy by Dominion Burma, it's only 20. Sure before the British get of them then I think 200,000 men pushing at the borders is plenty and I'll probably just naval invent with those guys and these guys yeah sure let's make two naval invasions knock them out quick I want to ban slavery as well. No slavery. Oh, that's right. I can have a billion declared interests now. I would say I have an interest in South Africa, Australia, uh, Northeastern Russia. Parts of Latin America. Just because these guys represent a lot of land. This would be great, this would help a lot with ending my, um, with ending the unemployment in China. Nobody's joining them, they'll probably, minus 60, they might not back down, but hopefully they will. Literacy is pretty garbage here. How do I... How do I get public schools? Industrialists endorse this. They also endorse private schools. They also like religious schools, but for some reason the clergy doesn't. Uh, you get... Sege and you get Guanvei. What's going on with the clergy here? Oh, it's because they're part of the Co Constitution Association, I think.
Or they just don't have the trait in them. That's weird. Actually, really weird. I don't want to make them happy because it will increase buff rate. Population is already out of control. And it's just not gonna change. Both naval invasions were a success. They have literally no defenses here. So that's an easy dominion. What you do about Russia though? That's the question. I should be passing laws. Residential Republic. This will radicalize everybody. Per capita taxation, it, w it actually works. Interesting. I'll check this again after I build all the farms to see if it's still getting better. I could probably go for the National Guard. Because of revolutions, I can't have civil wars. I definitely want schools, some sort of schools. Oh, I can't, I need, I can't have state religion. Can I push? I can absolutely not push back on it. Nobody wants to push back on it. I might push for religious schools then. Okay, Russia stopped improving relations. They're now anti. They now see us as a threatening force, yes? That's fine. Prussia, though. Prussia would form an alliance. Um, do I want a full-blown alliance with Prussia, though? I would be dragged to literally every single one of their wars. Which is bad for the economy. I mean, if France, France would not make a defensive pact, Russia would, but for an obligation, I don't really want to give them an obligation. On the other hand, 287,000 Prussians over here would be fantastic. I get the feeling I'm gonna need it. Did the Russians get skirmish infantry? Not yet. Um. But then Prussia is going to use the obligation to force me to join their customs union, yeah? Diplomatic actions. Oh, they can't force me because I'm a great power. Could I make anybody? Could I make a lot to join? For obligations, these people as well. Interesting. Yeah, 
it is actually quite interesting. So I'm fine with owing them an obligation for an alliance. The war is already going on and this is in Africa, okay. Give me Prussia. Now you're in trouble, Russia. Me, your rival. Heck, now I want to attack Russia. Because I know Prussia will be... Pressuring like over half their army on this front. Food industries. Canaries. Um, I don't have the fish. Maybe when I have the, what are they called? What are they called? I totally forgot. I blanked out. Industrial ports. What I put a cannery here. Hi, welcome to the stream. Up to nineteen percent. How is the fish market? Oh, it's already bad. Hmm. Where are my fishing wharves? I'm not gonna be able to fix it anytime soon. I would actually need steam trawlers. Which are coming. At some point. The next stack, I'll make the switch. I'm sure it'll piss off my subjects, but I don't really care. They're gonna keep using clippers, I'm just gonna, I don't know. Maybe it'll make one of them build shipping industries. And here comes the wheat. I should have I should have built the farms elsewhere so I could use an agricultural decree but eh. there's so much room for farms here they're already employing everybody wait this number went up by a lot I'm literally not using tools to maximize employment. And that number still went up like crazy. I guess throughput is gonna max out at some point through. I wonder if I'm actually gonna need fertilizers. <laughs> Wait, opium addiction this late into the game? Oh my god, it... man, I need to increase my construction sector by so much. They have 27 million in the bank. What are they building? It's all arts academies. So many arts academies. Oh, what's going on in Italy? The Dini and Two Sicilies aren't friends. Well, 
I'm pretty sure Prussia will side with me, so I should just attack Russia at this point. Alternatively, I just keep expanding into Asia. Oh, that's right, Bahrain. I should be looking at Bahrain. Let's make Bahrain into a puppet. And Guanvei will do the entire invasion. Also ban slavery. Also... Nah, that's fine. What is Great Britain doing? Bhutan? I don't know where these people are at. Uh, here? Oh man, I, I can't keep track of all of Southeast Asia. Minus popularity. Lower momentum. Liu Shan is a armed forces politician. He's disliked. I could make him hated. Let's just sway the elections a little bit. Really? Russia sided with Bahrain. What a joke. I mean, what is Russia doing? Russia's gonna overrun them. I can literally sit back and watch. Well, I'm taking my treaty port back. For one, I just lost an admiral. Um, experience ra convoy raider. Dockyard organizer, traditionalist commander. I like the raider guy. I still think they're gonna back down. They're in minus 60 confidence for, uh, level. On the other hand, Russia just started doing conscriptions. Um, okay. Let's get the gang together. What I got here, they're moving a lot of people here. Just really bad call from Russia. As I'm literally just gonna crush them there. Okay, they back down. So now Brain is mine. At some point when I need extra oil, I'll just annex them. In the meantime, they just stay in the country. Interesting, so this indicates Russia will actually contest me every step of the way. Um, my truce with Great Britain only lasts another two years. I don't think they're even humiliated. Minus 50% university building throughput. Oh man. Or 20% enactment chance. Sure.
the agrarian party? Sure, I don't care. Oh, I know why unemployment has gone has shot way up. Wheat farms only employ 5,000 people each. The substance rice patties employ 10,000 people. Oh, I forgot about that one. I'm literally making unemployment worse. But I don't know how to not make it worse if I need grains. Here is fine. Northern Manchuria. Northern Manchuria is also fine. Okay. Well. I can use infrastructure whenever. Let's just go ahead and cancel all the wheat farms in Beijing. And shift to Manchuria. This northern Manchuria, southern Manchuria is rice paddies. Yeah, this is just 5k people. Oh my god, I just... How much unemployment did I generate? I'm gonna end up building like 60 wheat farms. That's 300,000 unemployment. It's literally all my unemployment here. Pretty much. What is Prussia doing? They're getting wrecked by Portugal and Bali? Actually? No, yeah, that's for sure Portugal, right? What? Send once a trade agreement. Buddy, you're not getting a trade agreement. I'm just conquering you. Um. Okay, the matter of Russia. What am I doing? God damn it, Russia. Really? Revolution in Northern Germany. Radical Prussia, a constitutional monarchy. What I got? Free trade, right of assembly, property women. I think Prussia also starts with property women. Public schools. I'm pretty sure Prussia starts with public schools. Am I going to lose my alliance if I don't defend them? Monarchy, autocracy, national supremacy. Monarchy, landed voting, cultural exclusion, freedom of conscience. God. I'm automatically on the Prussian side. Um, what does radical Prussia have? Oh, they got all the barracks. The only thing that's left is freaking Brandenburg. Oh, France is importing tools? No, you're not. I will wreck my my market for tools before I sell it to you. Let's 
it's got all the slaughterhouses going. What? The agrarian party won. Are you kidding? 40% of the votes. Absolute insanity. I'm just gonna have to live with it. The worst part of it all. Oh lord. France sided with radical Prussia. Okay. Radical Prussia, where is your capital? I literally need to make a beeline for it. It's Saxony. Okay, guys. Our target is Saxony, okay. They're both feeling happy about the war. And now there's a revolution going in the United States. Because of course there is. Well, Radical Prussia hates me. I don't have an option, I need to side with Prussia here. Otherwise I lose the edge against Russia. The idea is literally for Russia to make things easy for me. So I'll send 100,000 here, 100,000 there, another 35,000 here. Please, the Emperors will be done. Can I afford to lose authority? Probably not. So just lose some relations with those guys. Probably fine. Okay. Senge is South China. Senge is gonna do a naval invasion here. Dan Lu is uh, Northern China, and so is Guan Van. Guan Van is gonna make an invasion there, and we save Guan Fan for last. A hundred k in the hole. Raise taxes. Too many troops, entirely too many troops. Eastern Prussia is gone. Okay, I have some dudes here. Honestly, I think I'm gonna have them defend the front. Okay, the naval invasion of Western Prussia is going kind of fine. It's no longer going fine. Quote fun. You're doing an invasion in East, in actual Eastern Prussia because I couldn't get my troops there in time. Trade route with France isn't active just because of the war. That's fine. One idea is to cut 
uh, radical pressure cut the uh, ocean axis from radical pressure. Theoretically, that could um, smother their economy. Probably not. Probably not. They got most of the country, right? And uh, we just came up against actual, actual troops. There you go, religious schools. That annihilated my bureaucracy. I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. Okay. Give me. Fifteen levels. Uh, Fourteen levels is fine here. Also. A railway and then 20 levels of government administration there. Stop advancing the front, you animals. The French are coming. What do the French have? Yeah, they have shrapnel artillery. I'm not holding this back. No way. There's no white piece here because it's a civil war. There are no war goes on me. I'm just gonna capitulate. Um, that war is bad for the economy, you know. Absolutely dreadful for the economy. Who are these guys? Brain? No, stop! Stop damaging relations with Brain. I got them. Well, there goes my one ally. And uh, apparently most of my economy. I guess we could just pause construction if I really wanted to. Okay, so what if I struck at Russia? A bunch of counters would be join either side or remain neutral. As long as Great Britain doesn't join, I'm fine. Are they actually at war with the United States? Oh, they're American allies. Okay, they're not joining the war on Russia and them. Um, neither is France, because they're busy with Russia. Austria might join in. Austria doesn't like Russia, okay. Give me my treaty port back. Mobilize everybody. A general just died. That would've been bad if it happened in the middle of the war. Okay, Luo, defend the front of there, throw this 200,000 men against the treaty port. Let's 
Senge stays there and then just mobilize Guanfan and I guess also send Nail to the northern border. Then Guafan is gonna lead a naval invasion somewhere. I could I could sway France and Austria to join me. Ban slavery, no. Transfer subject. I could transfer the Kishi Zeus for almost no infamy. I can instead force them to liberate Perm, Kamchatka. I wish I could just force them to release like this Ugrin people or the Siberian people. That would be much better. I feel like one of these is gonna release um, Alaska. I should humiliate Russia, right? I totally should humiliate Russia. I could just transfer those guys to myself. This me with 50 points. Maneuvers bringing Austria for war reparation. I could bring Austria for war reparations. Hell yeah, I'll do it for free. I don't want the war reparations. This is fine, uh, except for the part where things are very freaking expensive. It's fine. And now there's gonna be 300,000 Austrians at the border. The Austrians don't have an army that's as good as Prussia. But this is fine, and it forced them to rival each other, apparently. Oh, <laughs> enact per capita taxation? Don't mind if I do. 75% Don't have to say anything guys Looks like Austria is only throwing 200,000 men at the problem though But you know it's alright Oh, I could have gotten a little bit more stuff. Just add the subject here to the primary. Um, and then I'll probably just take Bukhara to get them in the market. Yes, please remove psychological affliction. Uh, Austria didn't bring a whole lot of men. Who are these guys? Afghanistan. My own dudes are told, have been told to defend. The bat is attacking Russia. We're pushing in against the treaty port that's defended by Finland. Well, not just Finland. These guys are northern China, these guys northern China. Go fun. You have your orders, just land here, wreak havoc on their capital. Whoa, 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 
we're building gold mines? I'm already building all of the gold mines. That's alright. Wow, they really made me fight over this. Almost the entire group that was attacking. 46,000 men. I could have just raided this and forced them into having no morale, but... Where did they move? To the big border, okay. You move to this one. And Kongia just kind of hold your ground, I guess. That's fine. What is this battle? It's Russia attacking us, and then they just get annihilated. 25,000 men at the, at the end of the battle. Siam, you're not getting a defensive pack, buddy. You're getting a freaking annexation pact, okay? I wanna move Shangling here. Move reinforcements. In the meantime, keep advancing the front. Take out their capital. Just pile up some war exhaustion. Because I want all of this. I'm forcing them to capitulate. capitulate. Ninety-six percent success chance. Let's see if it's a next calm type deal. Wait, I have Lutelia's in reserve. Did I really overbuild my navy? Oh, that's awkward. I'm not much gonna do about it now. Okay, guys, um... Everybody's getting... Well, you guys over here are getting new orders to advance the front. Put some pressure on Russia. My bureaucracy will be fixed in just a little while. England is putting up a heck of a fight. Let's do an attack with Nayla and just whatever. I don't need him there. Oh, the Austrians are here. How many men did the Austrians send? Uh, like 70,000 men, that's fine. Your tiny navies are fighting each other too. Oh, finally. Time for industrial ports. So here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna wait for the war to conclude before doing it because I'm still using my navy. Um, I got strapped on artillery though. I want steel frame buildings, absolutely, so... Let's go postal, let's go central banking, let's go central archives, central banking, postal services, postal savings, and then hopefully I can just jump straight into steel frame buildings. Although this is nine years, this is... Uh, six years. 
Nah, this is fine, that's fine. You'll get discounted, it's fine. I can't declare even more interests, man. The one true declaring history in Mexico? The Pacific Coast and Mexico. And the Balkans and the Ottoman Empire, the Horn of Africa, and really just all of this in Africa. Ah, oh, why the hell not? Egypt, too. There's regions here that kind of belong to Russia. In fact, all of Russia. I'm interested in literally all of Russia. Oh, there's Nalan. He's gonna wreck the first battle group over there, but they're sending stuff over. That might be the end of that. In terms of peace treaties, they still have far too much uh, support to give up. How did the battle here go? I haven't initiated a battle yet. I feel like the defender always wins here. Can I pull like a small number of men? Yeah, 69,000 men. I'm sure they won't be missed. Because Finland is trying to be fancy. I don't appreciate that. There you go. Per capita taxation. As soon as this battle... I don't know, do I push a little bit further or do we just dig in right now? Considering the Russians are coming, let's just dig in right now. When will they arrive? 39 days, this is not happening. Move them around. Stop the finish. Minus 15 war support. Yeah, we're. I'm doing all of this. I'm taking this subject. I'm humiliating Russia so they leave me alone for five years. I'm giving Austria the war operations that will cripple Russia's economy a little bit. I'm taking the treaty port back just cause. And then I just have to worry about Great Britain and Portugal, but Portugal isn't. Portugal really isn't a, anything to be concerned about. Well, here they come. Look at these casualty numbers. It's like 3 to 1, 4 to 1, something stupid. You're getting annihilated. I like how I'm doing this, but it really doesn't help me climb up to number one. It's knocking Russia down. We're back to building wheat farms. Well, wheat is now kind of sort of ex um, inexpensive. Clothing seems to be a bit expensive. I can just do this. And uh, it should crash the price of clothing in the entire nation. Probably. Yeah, now it's liquor. Fabric, wood. I don't really want to fix wood. Just, you know, being honest. How are they doing? Minus 77 war support. Here they come again. 
Uh, they will eventually grind this army down. Also, Austria is pushing pretty far in. Minus five per week. They're at minus 98. And that's a capitulation. And they immediately demand we end the puppet status. I mean, I understand why. Uh, they have no market access, so these buildings don't work. So let's fix this by bringing Bukata in into the fold. Just attack them on all fronts, it's fine. And that's the end of the construction queue. That's all the wheat I have queued up. It has brought the price of grains down without annihilating the peasants. It's fine. Next. I could lower the price of groceries or either just produce a shit ton more groceries in general yes absolutely absolutely this didn't break the economy no it did not what if I add baking powder okay baking powder breaks the economy because I don't have enough sugar And I can't bring that much sugar in. Bring like 600 over time. It's not nearly enough, so go back to just using sweeteners. Um, this costs a lot of hardwood. How about laves? Probably want laves, even mechanized workshops maybe. I just go with laves for now. Uh glassworks, did I turn any into crystal? No. I want all of them to be um leaded glass. I have a little bit of lead to spare. I don't have I don't have nearly enough lead to spare here to, to change it all to crystal glass. Maybe just a little bit of them. So private sector, the idea is that private sector will deal with the uh, lead supply. Oh I'm done with my construction queue. Let me lower taxes and figure something else up. Um, yeah, I don't think this is getting solved. I think it's just a consequence of people being overall poor. The middle strata is doing great. I can get some cotton going, but I don't think it's a very good idea. I got a little bit. Uh, speaking of which, now I'm no longer at war. Uh, I mean, oh, this just cost more ammunition. I need 445 ammunition. Seven levels of these should be plenty. Uh, what else am I doing? 
Oh yeah, I'm getting industrial ports, I'm getting ironclads. Uh, and then I'm going here too. Oh, I could produce a lot more steel than I'm currently doing. Change this out to steamships. Get uh, military shipbuilding for 520 ironclads. That should be plenty. Arms industry, yeah, who cares? I'll upgrade these when I upgrade the army. Which is, you know, probably never. Make more art with independent artists, I think is probably pretty good. Camera? War breaks out, it'll be done in a second. Just offense, who cares about defense? There is an ironclad shortage in the market. What? Oh. Did I not? Oh, I didn't. Okay. 540 ironclads. Right? Should be enough. Clippers are now expensive, but I'm not the one using them. Or, you know, in just a second, I won't be. Team trawlers. And there we have it, I'm no longer the one using them. Coal got quite expensive. And build a little bit more, a little bit, I like a bunch more coal. Okay, next law. Next law, I probably want wealth voting. Besides that, I would love to get the next year of education. But for now, it's okay. Proportional taxation would be huge. I don't know if I care about the health uh, about the health system. It reduces mortality, but mortality isn't a bad thing when you have this many in Victoria three. It's not that bad when you have these many unemployed pops in it. I'm never going to be able to deal with that many people. Police. No, I think police. Probably not. Dedicated police force could be good, but I don't think so. I'd rather try and go for wealth voting. I guess I'm gonna get a ton of bureaucracy as soon as I get Central Archives going. Is the are the paper mills good to go? Pretty much.
infamy. 22.3. Let's let's chill out for a while. GDP just keeps climbing. I'm also gonna need a lot of prestige though. Did my naval power projection not explode? I guess I can't tell. But I don't think Britain has ironclads. Oh, they do! Oh, they do. They just got him too. Oh, I'm still in the arms race against them. Damn. I actually thought I was doing great. Oh, here's Australia. Including New Zealand. They are a very minor power. I can snag them from Great Britain pretty easily, I guess. Columbia District eventually will, will actually form Canada, but eventually. Okay, munitions factories are done. So, bam, shrapnel artillery. And I'm gonna get first aid too. In terms of trade, what are my highlights? Furniture, grain, sulfur, liquor, steamers. Yeah, um, anything that will discourage Great Britain from making steamers by themselves. some furniture grain I'm not gonna sell grain I need grain I need porcelain as well from French perhaps wait what happened minus 10% come on I guess one way to get costs under control would be to Get the budget and control with which lower my construction costs. One of which is the price of tools. Oh lord. I need so many tools. What was... I keep getting research done and I'm just... I'm just mashing buttons on my keyboard and I can't see what I'm, what I'm researching. Oh no, Liu Shen dies? Isn't he the... No, he's a royalist? Yeah, let's get someone new. Here, they're a moderate. I was hoping for a weird ide ideology. Maybe a less common ideology. Oh, still is not expensive for some reason. No idea why. It is now under control, I wouldn't say it's cheap, but it's kind of under control.
the budget though the budget isn't under control it's getting very expensive I guess the military goods are getting very expensive too, huh? Am I actually still losing money here? I could get another 30k. How about here? I could get not a lot. I get money out of here, right? Nope. Nope. Hmm. I am not paying a cent for the Constitutional uh, Assembly. Oh, Yunnan. They have a lot of stuff in Yunnan. Minus 64% tax collection isn't that bad. Would it actually bring in enough money to offset the cost is the issue. Like these guys, I could probably double their tax income. Why is there turmoil? There's nothing in turmoil, the game is being stupid. Yeah, this place is doing great, so get some government administration going. These guys have 28 levels of Earth Academies? Are you kidding? Game. Oh, the leader of the Literachi just retired. Who is the new leader? A pacifist. Luang Prabang. Sure. They're under my sphere of interest, yes. Oh, there you go. Bureaucracy is going pretty low again. Let's just... Let's pick up the building of some of those buildings. I mean, could I dismantle the UK now? We have military parity, which is the issue. I would like to have military a uh, military advantage over them. Because they have a lot of troops now. And I would need to contest with the British Raj. Also, there's a lot of infamy. Oh, what happened to Prussia? This guy's interest group are the trade unions. The trade unions have 10% clout in Prussia now. Well, we might see communist Prussia this game. They owe an obligation to France. Can we be friends? No? Okay, I'll start improving relations. Nobody wants to be friends. Wait, are are the Netherlands still... Yeah, they're still in the 
Customs Union. There we go. Wealth voting. This should be a little bit of an upheaval in terms of politics. Oh, there's already an import demand for grain. Are you sure? Is this a joke? Ow. Okay, I'm gonna get like a thousand sugar going or whatever. Actually, no, I'm not, because that's just gonna generate more unemployment. Sugar. Sugar. Do I literally have no sugar farms? Sugar plantations. Well, I'll be damned. It comes from rice and rye. Maybe I can get some rye plantations going without generating too much unemployment. Here in Tuva. It's not gonna be a lot. It'll be like 150 sugar only. Hmm. Brazil could generate a ton of sugar for China. Our grains once again expensive. This is insane. It's actually insane. I actually need fertilizers just to keep up. Um, a new building and the paper bleaching. 920 dice. Do I even have 920 dice? Read up in the market. I barely do. I very barely do. Anyway. It's very expensive. So is paper. I love bureaucracy. No, just give me research. Paper prices are gonna wreck me too. Oh my god, it's it's all so bad. I'll get some dive plantations going. And um Hopefully that incentivizes them to build. Yeah, maybe that will incentivize them to build something else. Uh, to build. Oh God, uh, what have I done? This works. Okay, just keep the, just keep the radicalism down, please. I'm gonna need to get some dice going. And hopefully the private construction takes up the demand for paper. It's very, very profitable, you know. You got 15 in for me. Just sit tight for a while. Mm -hmm. 
so many unrealized taxes. I might never move away from appointed bureaucrats. Also, 8.7k bureaucracy. Here's something I should do. I should incorporate all the states. I've been neglecting to do it the entire game. And I'm also gonna go ahead and boost education. That will probably take care of any leftover um, bureaucracy from the switch. million from decreases in standard of living yeah it's rough man it's pretty rough Scandinavia oh the United Scandinavia oh France has overtaken me for number two are you kidding how I don't want to build up the army It's like the game wants me to, though. Okay, let's take a look at this. France is getting 1,200 from Navy power projection. I'm getting more. I'm only getting 840. Excuse me. Did they get the new ships, the ironclads? No. Very awkward. Very, very awkward, in my opinion. Let me see what happens if I do this. What happens to the economy? I think this only wrecks the economy if I actually conscript them. Pretty sure. Seventy four from GDP. I have a thousand. Does France just have a bunch of bonuses? They have some bonuses, not a lot. Guys, it's time to keep expanding. More subjects. Next up, the Sea Empire. Now I need to wait a little bit on them. Ugh! I actually thought it was gonna be easier than this. Keep my taxes pretty high. I need to somehow keep the budget under control. I'm now up to 1.1 million unrealized taxes. What? A, what the fuck? Like actually, what the hell? Is there an easy way to check? Places with very low taxation capacity. Yes, there is. Minus 2000. 
Really? They're actually using a lot of infrastructure too. 19k. That could be a lot of money. Oh, I'm going for another bureaucratic shortfall. Really? I'm kind of tired. I can't believe I dropped down to number three. Why did France grow? I actually don't know. Did they build up more troops? I mean, to be fair, their GDP is shooting up. But so is mine. I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't see any really obvious reasons why they picked up so much so quickly. There's nothing I'm willing to upgrade in my economy either. This it's transportation and um, decreases employment. No, thank you. Although, aren't these public buildings? Who's paying wages? Surely it's me. Oh, what if I go for a Kiva? You're cheaper. Yeah, France is definitely recruiting more men. I could recruit more men as well, it's just... I don't wanna, because it's expensive and my army is good enough for now. I could then declare war on Great Britain to try and steal like Canada or something. That would be very, very ideal. But... I'm not confident that I would win the war. We do have a similar number of ships. Let's see who is in depth. Afghanistan in, is in depth. Very little. Great Britain is 6 million in the hole. It's not a lot. Russia is 5 million in the hole. What if I declare the war for Canada, for example? Or I guess Australia. 18.7 in for me.
maybe we just take the dodgiest in this for 86 infamy uh, I don't think so I just need to figure out a way to kick the Netherlands out of being a great power they're very close to not being a major power I didn't even notice as soon as they drop down I'm declaring to puppet them if they do drop down, they might not. Our relations. They're neutral, so I can declare war whenever. What if I just go for South America instead of pushing into Persia? Why can't I just declare for the British? Uh, I can. It's just it's cost. It's gonna cost 170 for me. Absolutely horrendous. I think I would declare for Australia. Free the British Raj. Something like that. It would totally knock Great Britain out of number one. Really losing the Raj. But I think that's gonna be next stream. It's already kind of late. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get involved in a giant freaking war right now. Nine point three. I could get involved in a giant war right now. Yeah, instead of Australia, I could just declare for Cape Colony, and then in my list of demands, demand that the British Raj goes go independent. Oh no, they have an alliance with the Americans. That's bad. I need to get Britain like a secondary uh, part of another war. That's kind of bad for me. I'm pretty sure that's actually bad for me. You know, bad. I think research is very much slow down to a crawl. Here's a few million universities. Brazil is a minor power right now. That's amazing. Why are they a minor power? I would love to have Brazil. Just because of prestige. They barely have an army. Venezuela will come in to help, but that's fine. I imagine the army sucks. Austria is has decided to conquer Japan. They want to take Shubu, really? Which one is Shubu? This? Absolute insanity. But Austria likes me. I don't want to defend Japan against Austria. And France. Oh, 
Oh, this gives 73 infamy. They're gonna hate me. Everybody's gonna hate me. Wait. Russia will side against me? Oh, I have to do it now because Russia will be able to side against me very soon. Well, making them a puppet is out of the question. So I'm just gonna try and make them a dominion and, in and eat the infamy hit. You know what, guys? You're gonna ban slavery. <laughs> oh, here come the embargoes. Here come the embargoes. Because of all the infamy, Prussia sided with Japan. It's war. No Prussia, same Prussia. The Americans are now at war with Mexico as well. I'm up to 80 infamy. I'd rather not. I'd rather not make things worse. Um... Um... Yeah, all of this just makes it worse. A market libro... Okay, um... Should ban dueling. I was kind of hoping they would back down. I think it's because I do subjugate plus slavery and they never back down. Nevertheless, they have no friends, so... Dong is gonna attack with... Changlin, Zhu is gonna attack with Kong. And that should be the war, pretty much done. Unproductive trade routes to Austria? Oh, I unlocked the monitor classes. Does that mean Britain already has monitor classes? They do not. Mexico backed down. Just letting the two most important states. Uh, please stick the landing. Also, I um, I have an ironclad, so there's not the, the battle at sea is okay. Oh no, this landing isn't going all right. It is actually doing terrible. Man. I might need to get landing craft just because of that. So I can really invade the UK. No, 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 I'm, I'm going to get one beachhead here.
please take all of São Paulo first. They have a lot of defense, it's very impressive. Oh, there you go. I think that might be it. Yep, pretty soon uh, Brazil will capitulate. Oh, I finished my research as well. It's still at 27k, what the fuck. Just go for egalitarianism, I guess. Elections are in. The Constitutional Association, followed by the Communications, followed by the Empire Reform. Um. This is pretty good. It's a hundred percent legitimacy. Now, there are some successful naval invasions. And there we have it. Brazil under Great Ching. That should give me a little bit of prestige. Since I now have the biggest country in South America, and I'll be totally able to use them to. Actually, I won't because they're a dominion. I was gonna say I'm gonna be able to use them to attack the rest of it, but uh, that's not really true. And uh, who knows? Maybe this will help Brazil grow a ton because they have land to spare. And I don't have migration controls. And I have people to spare. 19 million people to spare, to be precise. Does Brazil have migration controls? Oh my god. They do. You stupid assholes. You stupid, stupid assholes. You could fix your own country if you just accepted some immigration. I would send you like a million Chinese people over and you would be able to employ all of them. Well, I think this is gonna be the part where I stop playing because I'm not really any closer to beating Great Britain. They do have a lot of prestige. And I'll be needing to catch up. The good news is, um, I don't think the AI is gonna have built nearly as much construction as me. So it's not gonna... To be fair, that is a lot of construction, but I don't believe the AI is actually putting it to good use. So as soon as I get... 
two frame buildings going, it's gonna be awesome. Anyway, um, that would be it for today's stream. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully next time we'll be able to take the number one spot. Probably by attacking Great Britain directly. That would be the easiest way to do it. Uh, but until then...